Hello, my name is Rich Tomorrow, and I'm a Google Certified Trainer and Proud Instructional Technology Coach in New Jersey on the East Coast of the United States. And today, I'm going to answer a super important question. How can I make my class accessible for learners? Which relates to differentiation and hybrid learning in Google Classroom. We have seen firsthand how teachers have used Google Classroom to create a student-friendly classroom environment that they've used to interact with their learners regardless of instructional method. Hyperdoc lessons, interactive Google slide projects, morning meeting check-ins, and so many more incredible activities have been filling up Google Classroom streams. But how can we make sure that all our classes are accessible to all of our learners? What good is a Google Classroom if it's difficult to access or tough to navigate? Let's take a look at a few ways we can make our Google Classroom easily accessible for all of our learners. Today, I'm gonna to share three concrete tips that I take advantage of when using Google Classroom. On deck for today, we're gonna to take a look at turning on screen reader support, how to apply rich text formatting and more features, and class design with diverse learners in mind. Let's check it out. Our first tip is all about how we can use the Chrome OS screen reader to help learners read messages, assignments, directions, and everything else in between while navigating Google Classroom. This can be turned on easily on any Chrome OS device. Our first step is to open the Chromebook settings menu and scroll down to advanced and find accessibility. We can click on manage accessibility features and under text to speech, click on enable select to speak. The settings down here allow us to change different options for that text to speech, such as voice, rate, pitch, and volume. You're able to preview the voice down there as well. Once we're back in Google Classroom, uh, we wanna select something for us to hear for the text to speech to work. I click on our option down here, our little button, select to speak, and then we click highlight, Announcement. Think pair share activity if you could. And there it goes. Gina Peggy created the 24th of what I love about it is that the text is the highlighted options. as it Think reads. Pair share activity. If you could pick three animals, tiger face doll. I can pause it, skip to the end, fast forward, or change the rate of speed. One of the newest updates to Google Classroom allows us to use rich text features to your posts. Being able to bold, italicize, underline, and even add bullet points to what you send will help your learners when they navigate through their Google Classroom. This will also allow you to organize and make the information you provide easier to read and comprehend. We can focus keywords with bold print or with underlining. Bullet points are perfect for providing multi-step direction to your students and breaking them down into chunks. And don't forget about Caps Lock. I always recommend using Caps Lock when assignments are due. It will stick out right away to your learners and the expectations will be clear. As you can see here, it's very similar to how we use rich text features in the other Google Workspace apps. Let's finish out today by looking at some quick tips on how we can design our Google Classroom to make it accessible for all learners. One of my favorite ways I've seen teachers push out assignments is to include emojis to easily identify what subject it falls under. Books for reading, calculators for math, flags for social studies, or telescope for science all provide our learners a quick glance to differentiate between assignments without having to read through it all. Right click to pull up the emoji keyboard and select what you want to add. We also have the opportunity to attach emojis in our directions to help learners differentiate between materials they could use during the assignment. Throw in a calculator or a textbook to let students know what they can use to help them if they're having trouble. If you want to provide more in-depth directions, utilize that tool that will allow you to upload a Google Doc or a file to further clarify and review expectations for your learners. It's also super helpful to use topics to organize assignments and give them a home. Whether it's broken down by subject or work for the week, giving everything a home makes it easier to navigate for our learners and can match up with an organized Google Drive. Now, we have some tips and tricks ready to make you a Google Classroom accessibility expert. Thank you for checking out the video.